All right, quick update. I got the system running with the graphics cards water block uh, attached to it. And I've had heaven running now for maybe 20 minutes, maybe 15, oh, 15 or 20 minutes. You can see temperatures, coolants warmed up a little bit. Only at 53 degrees, 52, 53, with the fans for those radiators just barely over 600 RPM. I have them set so they stay really low, and I have them based on the graphics card. Now, right now, it's not actually running 100% graphics card use. You can tell by the power draw there, it's only peaking at 404 because it is Heaven Unigen or Unigen Heaven benchmark. <clears throat> but I mean, compared to what it was like when it was air cooled, this is fucking phenomenal. This is amazing, and I'll show you what it looks like here in a sec. It looks so much better, but just take a look. Like, even the hot spot temperature, that's that's much lower than it used to be. Like, there's always going to be a big gap, but hot spot temperature was able to hit easily 80, over 80 or 90 degrees in heaven before. And, um... Now it's not even really hitting 70 worth of damn with the radiator fans that low. The pump is still set to increase speed based on CPU temperature. Obviously CPU temperature will be a little higher because the graphics card is in there now. But the CPU alone, it's not really enough to saturate the, uh, the, the cooling. I'm not really worried about that. <clears throat> Uh, if I need to, I can adjust the fan curve to make the fans faster, but I'll see how things go. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I also, um, since the fans are now pointed at the graphics card, that means I also changed it. So it's not uh, on the CPU header, it's on the CPU optional header. So I can change it. So over here, here it is. I'll go around it to the other side in a sec. Um, I realized I was stupid when I built this, so I can actually remove the cap off the reservoir there in order to fill it. So I don't need to pull the radiator and everything out in order to fill it. And that's a good thing because I had to shorten this tube here because it was actually starting to kink, even though it was only three weeks in uh, with the uh, previous layout of everything. Uh, I obviously had changed stuff around. This uh, right angle adapter now goes to the CPU input or inlet. Out of the CPU, it goes up to the uh, radiator on top. Out of the radiator on top, it goes into the graphics card. Out of the graphics card, it goes down into here on the right side there. Then it comes out of the left into the radiator, the bottom there, out of that radiator, back in here. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass to drain because obviously that drain is not actually at the bottom of the loop, uh, but it wasn't too horribly bad. <clears throat> I managed to find a way, didn't really make a huge mess. I used a towel, soak up water as I removed fitting here on the left because I had to do that in order to drain it and just swapped stuff around a little bit to, to drain it all. Let me go around. I still have to put stuff away, but let me go ahead and show you what this thing looks like real quick. It's also super silent because the fans are so low and it's still got to make sure that away. So you can see, like listen to this. If You can't even hear it. I'm standing right next to it. Like, it's right next to the case. It's fucking awesome. It used to sound like a goddamn vacuum cleaner was uh, blowing whenever I had a game or a benchmark running on the system before I swapped over to this water block. Now, when I'm sitting at my desk, I can, like, I can hear it a little bit right now because I'm so close to the fan, but even then it's kind of hard to hear it. When I'm sitting over there, I, I can't hear it because I have everything so quiet. This is how quiet I wanted it to be. And it looks incredible. Just, God damn. This was a pain in the ass to do. Bike ski. 
needs to add better instructions. They need to actually make sure those instructions are correct. But, I mean, the quality, I mean, fucking the, the temperatures, at least, they are good. So they at least got something right there. So all they're really missing is correct supplies, correct um, instructions. And it's it's amazing. And you might hear a little bit of coil whine in there. Uh, I don't know. Phones are a little more sensitive to coil whine than ears are. I, I can only hear it when I'm right here behind it. It's not really an issue. I never hear coil whine when I'm actually sitting at my desk. But... And still, obviously, you can see the bubbles there. It's still obviously getting some of the air out. Uh, the tubing, of course, it is less clear. You can see the, the new one there coming out of the graphics card. It is less clear than when I first put it in, but I knew that was going to happen. Uh, and it's just, just a normal thing that happens. And despite the fact that it's less clear, it still works and looks well in this build because of the color design and kind of the style I built it in. So I kind of planned for that discoloration, just turning a little white. So the, the new one in there leading away from the graphics card on the right, right there, about the center of the screen, that one will eventually turn a little bit foggy like the rest, but it's okay. It doesn't hurt anything. It, it's not gonna bother it. And it, it still looks all right. It just makes it look frosted instead of uh, melted ice type of an appearance, which is, which is all right, still matches. So this is awesome. You'll notice the temperatures on the next stream I do, if you watch the stream or the video of the stream. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go ahead, clean up a bit, then uh, test it out with a game. Anyone who's watching these, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you on something else. Bye for now. This thing's amazing.